The process to make a coin really starts with design and engraving. Artists develop the designs, we sculpt them, and make tooling. We make dies. Um, we make about 50,000 uh, dies here every year. We receive 10 foot long steel rods. They come in uh, to the plant and then uh, we cut the rods down to our die sizes, to specifications. And then from that we take what we call our master hub that we get from Philadelphia, which has the master image on it, and we press that into what we call a working hub. And that working hub is where we make all the other dies from that then we use in our stamping presses. We get these big rolls or what we call coils of metal that come in that weigh upwards of 10,000 pounds and could be the length of five football fields long. We load the coil into an automatic storage retrieval system and then when we're making that specific denomination we'll pull the specific coil, we'll run it through a blanking press which makes the actual blanks, the flap discs. Our blanking press then presses out like a cookie cutter and um, produces about 14,000 blanks a minute. So our annealing process is where we heat treat the blank coins. We put the coins into a furnace. It's a huge tumbling furnace. The purpose of heating it up is to soften the materials. It softens the coin and it softens it where when we go to stamp them, it holds the image better. They will be washed and dried. And then they go to our upsetting area or our mills where then we raise the outer edge of the coin. And the raising of the coin is done to protect the image of the coin and so that it makes the coin stackable. And then they're transferred into the press room where they're loaded into a press and the two dies that we made strike the coin with 35 to 100 tons of a force dependent on denomination and leave the impression on the coin. And then from there, once the coin is stamped, it's inspected, and then from there they're sent down to our count and bag area where they're counted, bagged, and then weighed, and then we store them until we send them to the Federal Reserve Bank.